Hello and welcome to this segment of our Ventura TV. My name is Petrina Sharp. I'm your host today and with me in the studio is Larissa Strauss, mosaic artist. Hello Larissa. Hello Petrina. <laughs> so how did you first get interested in mosaics? Um, well, I'd say it probably started in my early 20s. Or no, actually, when I was a teenager, I first went to Europe, and then I went to Europe a lot of times in my early 20s, and, and um, I just saw all kinds of amazing, amazing mosaics in Spain and Italy, and, um, and I, I was just really drawn to them. So I thought about doing them for a long time, but I thought about doing them in, in stained glass. Mm -hmm. and. Then it wasn't until my late 20s that I decided to go ahead and make a mosaic. And so my friend and I did it um, for my parents' backyard. And it's, it was in tile, and, um, and it was really fun. And we had a party for it <laughs> to celebrate. And they still have it over their fountain. And um, so I did another one on my own, and then uh, one of my sister's friends was over and went home and told her mom what she saw that I was doing and her mom said, oh, I want a mosaic. And so that's how I got my first commission. And so that's how that happened. But um, I, I switched over to glass um, and because I discovered that it was much easier to cut right. than tile. And this job that I had was of an angel, and it was really intricate, and tile would have been impossible. And so I taught myself how to do it in glass, and it was really big. And I worked four months and made $1,600. Wow. <laughs> I quit my job and <laughs> let my credit cards uh, uh, <laughs> go. And, uh, and then I just kept getting work. So it was like something was telling me I, uh, that was what this I was supposed to do. Thing. Yep. Yeah. So the, the mosaics that you saw mostly in Europe were they they were all tile or were some of them glass too? Um, the ones in Spain are mostly tile mm -hmm. um, and mostly big shards. Um, the ones further south that are more intricate, I haven't seen those except in books. The ones in Italy are made with. Um, glass, um, Italian smelty glass. I didn't know that then, but, um, but the pieces are much smaller. Mm, and okay. yeah, there's much more of a, a tradition of mosaic. And how to lay them out, or how does that work? Um, well, like, do they there have, are different do ways. Do you see very specific patterns? Can you like recognize, oh, that is somebody's work? Actually, in, no. 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 That was very standard. Yeah, really I, I, standard. I think so. Um, I think it was just an artisan um, trade or right. craft kind of thing. And right. you know, it, it, in Ravenna, you see these mosaics, and they're just they're they they cover the entire you know ceiling and walls of these huge cathedrals and. Like, there's no one way that it would have been, that any one person would have gotten the credit for it. it right. they, you can only imagine that lots of people worked on it over time. So, okay, let's bring it a little closer to home. Um, you've done some projects in the community. Yes. Um, tell me about one of those. Start with Marina Park. Okay, that was my first one. Mm -hmm. I did that in 2006. It's at the entryway to Marina Park. Mm -hmm. and. It's of um, two pelicans um, sitting, and there's the ocean and the sky, and then uh, the islands in the distance. And, um, and the water is really neat. It's got a lot of um, mirror, crinkly mirror in mm -hmm. it and iridescence, and so it looks like it's a windy day, and it always is a wind. It always, it's always I windy mean, it's day. always windy right there, right. so I always feel like it really captured that place. Nice. So, and the sky is very whimsical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you also have some work over the, at the Museum of Ventura County? Yes, that's a, a series of eight panels, um, 
that are on the front of the building and they depict the history of Ventura County starting with the Chumash and then um, going into you know, the time of the, the, the conquistadors mm -hmm. coming in and taking over and the mission the, yeah the mission the mission period yeah. and then the ranchero period and then there's one that's just all about agriculture and what the area is known for and each thing that is in it um, actually in each mosaic was very specific um, a, as a piece of information that I needed to somehow convey. Mm -hmm. um, I was given this list of things that had to be covered in each piece. And wow. so it was a very specific thing. Took many, many, many meetings with the docents and the museum director and other people from the museum to come up with the compositions and then to paint them and then after that, I got to do the mosaics, and the whole project took about two years. Wow. Yeah. That was a pretty intense thing to do. But, it's, but there it is on the front of the it's, museum for yeah. everyone to see, right? It is. <laughs> yeah, well, and it, it was meant to be a teaching tool for the kids. Sure. Coming in and learning about the history of Ventura County. Yeah, it makes it very easy to have them, you know, I mean, it, it, it's more interesting, right, yeah. to have them come in and see it that way. Yeah, yeah, and the kids really love them. Yeah. They get nice. really excited. Nice. That's neat. And you have one more project, you said that, uh, the hospital? A uh, hospital? Yeah, um, a cottage hospital in Santa Barbara. Okay. That's where I was born. And um, there are three big mosaics and then two small mosaics and they are on the first floor by the elevators so in a main thoroughfare. So I got a really good spot, but it's the whole wall. Nice. Yeah, it's these really big pieces. What's, what's it a depiction of? Well, they, they chose the subject matter um, uh, uh, by, the f by each floor, right? So the, the floor that I was on was architecture. There's one that's a, a it, it's from a photograph that I took and and it's of a doorway and it, it's just really it's yeah, it's very beautiful um, and then the other one let's see the the one in the middle is of the mission tower and um, that one is very kind of um, whimsical and magical in a way because it's got all these it's got the mission tower and a big palm tree, but then it has all these circles that are coming up like bubbles. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did that because I didn't have enough time to finish it otherwise, so that was kind of like, a, like, okay, this is a good way to do it. Well, you know, sometimes the, that pressure actually brings out more creativity. Exactly, right? yeah, and it, it, it turned out to be my favorite piece. Nice. So. And then the final one was from, um, um, a photograph that I took looking from the inside of the corridor um, that's outside at the mission in Santa Barbara so you're looking out um, and then I got rid of the gate or the fence mm -hmm. and um, and just have the fountain and then there's uh, and, and then I kind of made it a little bit Mm, not realistic. I mean, in a way it right. is, but if you would, could get rid of all the trees in the houses, then you'd see the ocean. So I put the ocean there. Right. And um, well, that's the way it used to be, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've covered community. Mm -hmm. So how about you? What interests you in mosaics? Like, do you have a specific? You know, like, what is it that you get passionate about when you sit down and do a mosaic just for you? Making it the best that I can possibly do it. Um, every single one I do, I, tr I try to outdo myself. Okay. And so there's that. There's sort of that. I, I guess it's technical, but it, it's not technical. It's, it's like I'm always trying to push the limits on what I can do in terms of... Well, it, not just realism, but other things too. Um, just making them very painterly is very mm -hmm. interesting to me. But it, mosaic is is so special because you can do things with it that you can't do with glass. I mean, with paint. 
and which makes it harder because you can't paint over it. Right. You just have to get it right the first time, otherwise you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what's your favorite subject matter to paint? Like, do you have, do to, you have any? To paint well, or no, to do I mean, mosaics? I meant there. mosaics, sorry. Um, I'd say probably nebulas. Okay. They're my favorite. And I guess I said that because you do have a painting of a nebula, and then you also yes. have it in mosaics. So yes. So that's, that's where it's Yeah, and I like to paint nebulas too, mm -hmm. but I, I really love them in glass because you can really get the stars in sparkly pieces. And it just, it's just really, they're so beautiful. They're so magical. Those are my favorites. And galaxies too. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so, but I'm also interested in taking things that are here on this planet and combining them with, um, with things that you would see in nebulas. And so I've done a little bit of that, mm -hmm. and um, that's really fun. <laughs> well, we're winding down. Okay. So what would you like to say to the audience about mosaics just to kind of summarize things up you know it, mosaic is something that people love and appreciate but mm -hmm. it isn't always taken seriously as an art form mm -hmm. and since the the beginning of my um, 14 years of doing it i became well I, i've been determined to prove to people that it's not just a craft that it is an art form and it should be taken seriously it is an art form yes it it totally is <laughs> Thank it's you. just as hard if not harder than painting yeah in my opinion because you have to figure it out ahead of time yep. that, you know it, it's, yeah you have to really think the whole thing through you have to think it through yeah you have to have it thought out first well, that's great. If someone wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do that? Um, my website mm -hmm. is www.larissastrauss.com. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for being here today. I really Thank appreciate you. you coming in and chatting with me. I'm Patrina Sharp, and this has been another segment of Our Adventure TV. Until next time.